Zachary Taylor, the military hero turned president. Today, we delve into the life and legacy of one of America's lesser known but highly influential presidents, Zachary Taylor. Often overshadowed by his successors and predecessors, Taylor's life is a fascinating tale of a military hero thrust into the political arena during a time of great national turmoil. Zachary Taylor was born on November 24, 1784, in Orange County, Virginia, to a prominent family with a long history of military service. His father, Richard Taylor, served as a lieutenant colonel in the American Revolutionary War, instilling in Zachary a sense of duty and patriotism from an early age. Despite their aristocratic background, the Taylor family faced financial difficulties, prompting them to move to a 200-acre farm in Kentucky when Zachary was still a child. Growing up on the frontier, Zachary Taylor received only a rudimentary education, primarily through private tutors and occasional schooling. However, he compensated for his lack of formal education with a keen interest in military strategy and a strong work ethic instilled by his father. Taylor's upbringing on the Kentucky frontier imbued him with resilience, self-reliance, and a deep appreciation for the virtues of hard work and perseverance. At the age of 23, Zachary Taylor followed in his father's footsteps by joining the U.S. Army in 1808. His military career began modestly, serving as a first lieutenant in the infantry during the War of 1812. Despite the limited opportunities for advancement in the peacetime army, Taylor's exceptional leadership skills and natural aptitude for warfare quickly caught the attention of his superiors. Taylor's rise through the ranks accelerated during the War of 1812, where he distinguished himself in several key battles against British forces along the western frontier. His bravery and tactical acumen earned him rapid promotions, culminating in his appointment as a brevet brigadier general by President James Madison in 1814. After the War of 1812, Taylor's military career entered a period of relative obscurity as he served in various garrisons and frontier outposts. However, his skills as a military strategist and his reputation for fairness and integrity continued to grow, laying the groundwork for his future successes on the battlefield. Taylor's most notable achievements came during the Mexican-American War, 1846-1848, where he played a pivotal role in securing victory for the United States. As commander of the Army of Occupation in Texas, Taylor successfully defended the disputed border region against Mexican incursions, culminating in the decisive victories at Palo Alto and Resaca de la Palma in 1846. Buoyed by his early successes, Taylor led his forces deep into Mexican territory, capturing the strategic city of Monterrey in September 1846. His brilliant tactics and unwavering leadership further solidified his reputation as a military hero and earned him widespread acclaim throughout the United States. The pinnacle of Taylor's military career came at the Battle of Buena Vista in February 1847, where he faced a much larger Mexican army under the command of General Santa Anna. Despite being outnumbered nearly two to one, Taylor skillfully deployed his forces and repelled multiple Mexican assaults, securing a stunning victory that effectively ended the war in the Northern Theater. Zachary Taylor's remarkable performance during the Mexican-American War propelled him to national prominence and earned him the nickname Old Rough and Ready for his unassuming demeanor and steadfast leadership on the battlefield. His military exploits not only solidified his legacy as one of America's greatest generals, but also paved the way for his unexpected foray into politics and eventual ascension to the presidency. After his illustrious military career, Zachary Taylor's name became synonymous with heroism and leadership. Despite his lack of prior political experience, Taylor's popularity and reputation as a war hero made him an attractive candidate for the presidency. In 1848, the Whig Party, recognizing Taylor's widespread appeal, nominated him as their candidate for the presidency. Taylor's campaign emphasized his military record 
and his commitment to preserving the Union amidst growing tensions over the issue of slavery. Taylor's opponent in the election was the Democratic candidate Lewis Cass, a seasoned politician with considerable experience in government. Despite Cass's political acumen, Taylor's status as a war hero and his image as a nonpartisan candidate resonated with voters across the country. In the election of 1848, Zachary Taylor emerged victorious, winning a decisive victory in both the popular vote and the Electoral College. His election marked a significant departure from traditional political norms as it demonstrated the growing influence of military leaders in American politics and foreshadowed the recy of other military figures to the presidency in the years to come. Zachary Taylor's presidency began on March 4, 1849, amidst a period of great uncertainty and upheaval in American politics. His administration faced numerous challenges, both domestic and international, as the nation grappled with issues such as West War expansion, the status of slavery in the new territories, and tensions with Mexico. One of the most pressing issues confronting Taylor's administration was the question of whether to admit California into the Union as a free state or a slave state. The discovery of gold in California in 1848 had led to a rapid influx of settlers, sparking a debate over the region's status and intensifying sectional tensions between the North and the South. Taylor sought to defuse the growing crisis by advocating for the immediate admission of California as a free state, bypassing the territorial stage and sidestepping the contentious issue of slavery in the region. However, his efforts were met with fierce opposition from Southern slaveholders and their allies in Congress, who viewed Taylor's proposal as a threat to their interests and the delicate balance of power between the free and slave states. In addition to the California question, Taylor's administration also grappled with the aftermath of the Mexican-American War and the ongoing territorial disputes with Mexico. Taylor's reputation as a war hero and his first-hand experience in dealing with Mexican authorities positioned him well to negotiate a resolution to these conflicts. Despite his best efforts, Taylor's presidency was cut short by his sudden death on July 9, 1850, just 16 months into his term. His passing left a void in American politics and deprived the nation of a leader who, despite his limited political experience, had demonstrated courage, integrity, and a steadfast commitment to preserving the Union. In the years following his death, Zachary Taylor's legacy continued to be debated by historians and scholars, with some praising his leadership during a tumultuous period in American history and others criticizing his handling of the complex issues that defined his presidency. Regardless of one's perspective, Taylor's tenure in office remains a testament to the enduring influence of military leaders in shaping the course of American politics and the nation's destiny. Zachary Taylor's legacy is a complex tapestry of military triumphs, political challenges, and enduring controversies. Despite his relatively brief tenure as president, Taylor left a lasting impact on American history and politics, shaping the course of the nation during a critical period of transition and turmoil. One of Taylor's most enduring legacies is his distinguished military career which earned him widespread acclaim as a war hero and established his reputation as one of America's greatest generals. His decisive victories during the Mexican-American War, including the battles of Palo Alto, Monterrey, and Buena Vista, showcased his tactical brilliance, leadership skills, and unwavering commitment to the defense of the nation. In addition to his military exploits, Taylor's presidency marked a significant departure from traditional political norms, as he became one of the first military leaders to ascend to the highest office in the land. His election in 1848 demonstrated the growing influence of military figures in American politics and set a precedent for future commanders-in-chief, including Ulysses S. Grant and Dwight D. Eisenhower. Despite his limited political experience, Taylor's presidency was characterized by a steadfast commitment to preserving the Union and addressing the pressing issues of his time, including the status of slavery in the newly acquired territories from Mexico. 
his advocacy for the admission of California as a free state, and his efforts to defuse sectional tensions earned him praise from abolitionists and moderate politicians alike. However, Zachary Taylor's presidency was not without its controversies, chief among them being his handling of the contentious issue of slavery and his approach to the Mexican-American War. Taylor's ambiguous stance on slavery, particularly his refusal to take a clear position on the expansion of slavery into the Western territories, alienated both Northern abolitionists and Southern slaveholders, weakening his support base and hindering his ability to enact meaningful reforms. Furthermore, Taylor's conduct during the Mexican-American War has been the subject of debate and criticism by historians. While his military leadership and strategic acumen were widely praised, some have questioned the justifiability of the war itself and the methods employed by Taylor and his forces in prosecuting the conflict. Allegations of war crimes and atrocities committed against Mexican civilians and soldiers have tarnished Taylor's reputation in the eyes of some critics, casting a shadow over his otherwise illustrious military career. Additionally, Taylor's sudden death in 1850, just over a year into his presidency, fueled speculation and conspiracy theories regarding the cause of his demise. While contemporary medical experts believe that Taylor likely succumbed to cholera or another gastrointestinal illness, rumors of foul play and suspicions of poisoning have persisted over the years, adding another layer of intrigue to his already enigmatic legacy. Zachary Taylor's life is a testament to the power of leadership and the impact one individual can have on history. From his humble beginnings in Virginia to his triumphs on the battlefield and in the White House, Taylor's legacy continues to inspire generations of Americans. As we reflect on his contributions to our nation, let us remember Zachary Taylor as a true patriot and a symbol of courage, integrity, and service to the United States of America. Thank you for your time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video.